Hello, and welcome to another edition of Orthopedic Sports Medicine Patient Educational Series with Dr. Adam Draghi. In this video, we're going to review the post-operative hinge knee brace that you will wear following your knee surgery. The post-operative hinge knee brace is designed to hold the knee out straight and lock it in extension when you're ambulating. However, it also has the ability to be unlocked so that you can bend the knee at different points during your rehabilitation. In order to apply the brace, I recommend that the brace is initially unlocked. To unlock the brace, you simply switch the red dial from the locked position to the unlocked position. There is, of course, a switch on both hinges, so you want to make sure that both are unlocked before applying the brace. The brace hinges are then to line up with that of your knee. So we get the hinges at the knee, and then we want to make adjustments to the straps. These straps have already been adjusted, so we'll go ahead and clip the straps to apply the knee brace. Once the initial adjustments to the brace are made, you can simply take the brace off and on by clipping the clips together. So let's look at how we actually adjust the brace initially. This is important because initially you may have a lot of swelling in your leg and as time goes on after your surgery the size of the leg may progressively get smaller. So there will be a need to make some adjustments to your brace. The brace is meant to be adjusted in two phases. The first is the velcro here which controls the strap that goes around the back of the leg. As you pull that strap up you can lay it down against the Velcro to tighten the back. You then want to adjust the front of the brace by applying the clip and then pulling tightly on the strap. Once it is set in both the back and in the front, then you don't have to make further adjustments and can simply remove the strap off and on with the buckle. Once we have applied the brace, then we are going to lock the brace out straight. So we want to push the knee into extension and then clip the brace into a locked position. And of course, you want to do this on both sides. This will protect the knee from buckling during a period of significant quadriceps weakness after your surgery. You can unlock the brace at times, such as if you are sitting in a car for convenience. However, whenever you are ambulating or whenever you are placing weight on your knee, the brace must be locked out straight. There may be many instances where we actually want to remove the brace to do various different types of home exercises. Perhaps the most important post-operative home exercise following knee surgery is to be able to get the knee out into full extension. The knee always starts in full extension, but through the course of swelling and pain, some patients have a tendency to lose some of their extension. And so in order to perform post-operative knee extension exercises, you want to remove the brace by popping all of the buckles. And then we want to get a pillow or something up underneath your heel or your foot with nothing under your knee to allow gravity to straighten that knee out straight. The reason that I stress this so much to patients is because this is a position that causes a lot of pain and no patients want to voluntarily place the knee in this position. But it's much easier to keep the knee straight from the beginning than it is to try to get the knee straight later on after the pain subsides. I recommend that you do these extension exercises multiple times per day out of the brace for the first week or two following your knee operation. I hope this video has helped you to better understand the application and use of your post-operative hinge knee brace. As always, if you have any further questions regarding the use of your brace, please do not hesitate to call our department. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a good day.